Hello, my dear students. I welcome all the class 5 students. Today, we will be learning General Science Chapter 4 about pollination. The flower. The flower is the part of a plant that contains the reproductive structures. However, in many plants such as grass and paddy, the flowers are small and unattractive. Many flowers have a sweet scent which attracts insects to watch them. Flowers vary widely in terms of size, color, and shape. Parts of flower A typical flower consists of the following parts, collex, corolla, androsium, and gynosium. Children, please open your book page number 45. Here is the diagram. Stigma, style, ovary, these three are called pistil, gynosium, anther, filament, these two are called stamens, androsium. Petal, that is corolla, ovule, and pedicel, here is the thalamus, here sepal collects these are called parts of flower types of flowers flowers are divided into two types bisexual and unisexual based on the presence of the male and female reproductive parts bisexual flowers the flowers in which both the male and the female reproductive parts are present are known as bisexual flowers or hermaphrodites. For example, hibiscus, mustard, and daffodil. Monosexual or unisexual flowers. The flowers in which either the male or the female reproductive parts are present are known as monosexual or unisexual flowers. They are therefore also called incomplete flowers. For example, maize, bitter gourd, and max melon. Pollination. The pollen grains present in the anther must be transferred to the stigma of the flower. Only then the ovary will develop into a fruit and the ovules will form the seeds. The transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of the flower is called pollination. Process of pollination. Pollination is the process by which pollen is transferred to the female reproductive organs of a plant, thereby enabling fertilization to take place. The pollen contains male sperm, gametes, and the carpel is where the female gametes are contained. Both the gametes must come in contact with each other for the reproduction to take place. Some ways of pollination. Pollination can be of two types. Number one, self-pollination. Number two, cross-pollination. Self-pollination, transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of the flowers occurring in the same flower or between the flowers of the same plant. Cross-pollination, transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of the flowers on different plants of the same species. Pollination mainly occurs by wind, insects, birds, and bats. In aquatic plants, pollination is done by water, 
The bright color of petals and fruity smell of the flowers attract the insects. When insects sit on the flowers to feed on the nectar, their bodies brush against the powdery pollen. Pollen grains stick to their bodies when they visit another flower. The pollen grains are deposited on the stigma of that plant, thus enabling pollination. Therefore, insects, especially honeybee, are considered to be very important for pollination. I hope you understood what we have learned today. Stay home, stay safe. Thank you.